Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am Holly Lenora and today's video, it is a little bit different. It is a very special day for me. Today is mine and my boyfriend's three year anniversary. So with that being said, I just wanted to make a video and get ready with you. I realize that we are on quarantine and this is the first year that I've celebrated an anniversary on quarantine, but that's okay. We are going to make the best of it and I'm still gonna get ready. It is still a special day, still deserves fabulous makeup. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button, and I'm going to throw my hair back and we will jump right into the video. <sighs> okay, are we ready? I'm ready. Let's jump right in. I am going to start off with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. I am going to use this as my primer. And I already did my eyebrows, but that was just because we were going places, running some errands, so I wanted to look at least a little bit decent. That's why they are already finished. Next up, we are going to color correct a little bit. I am going in with the my all-time favorite, Urban Decay Naked Color Correcting Fluid in the shade Peach. Okay. The boring part's over with. Let's go into foundation. I am going to use the one and only Tom Ford foundation for tonight. Are we going anywhere? No, we are not. But when I found out that my three year anniversary was going to be quarantine style, I was not worried one bit. I knew we would still find something fun to do, some way to celebrate the love that we have for each other. And sure enough, we did. For our one year anniversary, we went to Ruth's Chris. And then for our two year anniversary, we went to the Bistro on Biltmore Estate. Both of those are super delicious, super romantic restaurants. And so what we decided was we would go to Whole Foods. Going in with the Giorgio Armani Concealer. Anyways, we would go to Whole Foods and pick out some fillets from the butcher and just come back home and make a really nice romantic meal. He is in the kitchen right now prepping. He wanted to make the entire meal, even though I do like to cook, but this is his thing, so I went ahead and let him cook, which gives me time to get ready. I'm going to change my clothes. Just because we aren't in a restaurant, that does not mean we cannot celebrate our love in a different way. And it's raining outside, so that excludes any kind of outside activity. But I am very content with lighting a couple candles, setting the dinner table really nice, and just eating together. So we will make a date indoors. Anniversary quarantine style, gotta love it. To add some shape and dimension to my face, I'm going to go in with the Tom Ford bronzer. Love this stuff, although it is expensive, but tonight is a special night, so I'm not skimping out. I am going to sharpen up my face a little bit with this Sephora number 72. This is what the bronzer looks like. It is beautiful. It is bougie. Has a little bit of gold shimmer in there. I would expect no less. Buff it out a little bit. Look at that shine this stuff adds to the skin. Wow. 
we're gonna look good for this date. And I'm actually going through this rather quickly. Sharpen up the jawline. And throw some on my little nose. Just sharpen her up a bit. We do want pouty lips for tonight, of course. Even though it's been three years, I still want to look good. Still got to turn his head. I'm going to buff my bottom lip out a little bit. Make sure there's no marks. Or as one of my YouTube friends like to call it, a chocolate milk mustache. We don't want that. No, we don't, girl. Not today. Let me buff this real good. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Whew. Back to normal. Let me make sure this is all buffed out. Sometimes these lights like throw me off. And I can't tell if the monitor is just over accentuating because then I'll look at it during playback and it looks fine and I thought it looked awful and you guys probably think I'm crazy, but it's better than thinking I'm boring. Eh? Okay, we are bronzed up. We are moving and grooving, sister. Like I said, this is a quick glam, girls. You hear glam, you think ours. No, 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 not here, girl, not here. We are still going to look Okay, I'm going to show you my secret weapon. My secret, this is gonna be quick and I'm still gonna look fabulous. You probably won't be able to guess it. I'm not sure if I've showed this on my channel yet. I don't believe I have. I don't think you're ready. Boom. This palette is absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is so I'm embarrassed to show you guys. This is the palette. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I have a backup. Let me show you one that doesn't look so torn up. <sighs> okay, here is my backup. Let me not make your eyes so sore and show you the pretty one. This palette is absolutely stunning. This is a oldie but goodie, will never be unpretty. I mean, this is absolutely a solid Urban Decay palette. Oh, there she is. She is absolutely beautiful. So many ways to do smoky eye, a natural look, a casual look. Then you can clam it up. I mean, this palette is absolutely fabulous. Okay, I am going to prime my eyes really quick with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is a great primer. I love it because you can just boop and then write on your eyes with your fingers, which is exactly what I am going to do. And voila, eyes are primed. Now we will go back into the uh, embarrassing palette. And I love this palette because the colors are so, they all go together. So it's super easy to just pick three colors, two colors, one color, whatever you want to do. And the little brush it comes with is great. Plus there's a mirror in here. So you're good to go, girl. Let's do this. For my crease, I'm so sorry this palette is not pretty. But for my crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Buck. I am going to buff out my brow bone really quick with this last shade Virgin right here and I'm just going to take my finger and do that. I am going to go back into that crease shade Buck, same side of the brush, tap off the excess and smoke out this lower lash line. For the center of the lid, I am going to go in with this shade right here, Smog. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Hustle, and kind of slightly wing out my eye. And to finish it off with my finger, I'm going to go in with Half Baked right here and just fill in the lid. And just like that, eyeshadow is complete. 
To make my eyes appear just a little bit bigger, I'm going to go in with this nude pencil. Actually, it's called a Magic Pencil from Morphe. I believe it was $10, and I absolutely love this little guy. It makes such a difference. Just like that, just throw it on my bottom lash line and eyes appear bigger and it, once you have on your mascara or your lashes, whatever you're doing that day, I'm telling you, it makes a world of a difference. Speaking of lashes, I am going to go in with the House of Lashes. These are the Natalia Mini Lashes. I like them because they're not too glamorous. They don't take away from your look, which a lot of lashes tend to do. I don't mind that, but for tonight, we'll keep it simple and romantic. Okay guys, lashes are on. All we have left is blush, highlight, and a little bit of lip. Let's get into it because it is almost daytime. So for blush, I want to do something soft and sultry. So of course, Charlotte Tilbury, duh. This is her Swish and Pop blush. This is in the shade First Love. Oh, how fitting. What's funny though, when I first met Mark, we did not, not start off on the right foot. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Not at all. But I guess his persistency was the key in that case. And here we are, three years later. Next up, we are going in with the Charlotte Silvery Gold Bar. This quickly became one of my favorite highlighters. It is absolutely stunning. If you have not seen my full face of Charlotte Silvery, you should head on over after this video and watch that. This is what the Gold Bar looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. I take my Morphe highlighter brush. It's not really a highlighter brush. I just dubbed it a highlighter brush. This is the M501, and we're going to swipe all three. That's right. Okay, last but not least, I'm going in with a lip. This is Huda Beauty's Matte Lipstick. This is called First Kiss. I did not grab these makeup products with these titles on purpose, I promise. This I have not used yet, so I figured why not tonight. This is a beautiful matte color. But before that, I'm going to line my lips with Morphe's Backseat Love. This lip liner is inexpensive and it's great for everyday wear, casual, glam it up. This is a must have in a beauty kit. Backseat Love Morphe, go get it. It's fabulous. Okay, lipstick time. Do we like it? It's gonna work for tonight. I like it, that's a pretty color. It reminds me of the 90s. We're, it's going to work. We're sticking with it. Now for the last step, we are going in with setting spray. This is the Hangover RX 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Here we go. Okay, guys. My face is ready for date night, three-year anniversary. Oh, and... He came home with these. These are super sweet. He got me a big present, but maybe I'll show y'all later. It's nothing bad. It's a good, good gift, but couldn't bring it in this room. So this was super, super sweet. He, he actually brings me flowers a lot. It's just not for special occasions, but fresh flowers are always nice. So now all I have to do is pick a cute little outfit. Yes, we are staying here, but I still want to look pretty for him and feel pretty just for the occasion. This day totally deserves putting in effort, putting in makeup, getting all dressed up. So that is what we were going to do. I am going to go finish getting ready for my date. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, getting ready with me, and listening to my chit chat. Once again, if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe, ring the bell, hit that thumbs up button, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.